Today is day 13 of that ongoing Canada Post strike, and we've got some bad news. A special mediator who is trying to bring both sides together has now said, nope, can't do it, at least not yet, suspending mediation efforts, saying the two sides are far apart on critical issues. Here's Steve McKinnon. He is the Trudeau government's labor minister, keeping a close eye on the situation. Here's what he had to say. He says he's hoping that the pause in activities by the mediator will put pressure on both sides, Canada Post management and the union, to reassess their positions. McKinnon spoke to reporters last hour in Ottawa saying he is extremely frustrated. So far, the Trudeau government does not have any plans to directly intervene, no back-to-work legislation, but he certainly appreciates that the longer this goes on, the more frustrating it's getting for Canadians. These parties have had access to the, the best um, mediation services that it is possible to have. They have had uh, time, and it is like both parties uh, don't realize that the business plan and uh, business proposition of Canada Post hasn't changed. That is an obvious fact for all Canadians. And at the same time, uh, they need to realize that they need to reach a ratifiable agreement. All right, let's go to Arda Zakarian. She is in Toronto, in the east end of the city. She's at a rally being held by Canada Post workers at one of their big facilities uh, in Toronto. Arda, good to see you as always. What are you hearing from people? Thank you. Good to see you too, Todd. So uh, what we're seeing behind us is a rally in front of the Eastern Avenue facility here in Toronto. Actually, it was much bigger just a few minutes ago because QP, uh, members of QP decided to join and they're having a women's conference and they said, let's go and join and uh, a show of solidarity to our members from CUPW. What we are hearing from them, I actually had a chance to speak to the Toronto local president and see he said, they are ready to negotiate. However, it's Canada Post that's not negotiating with them. And Canada Post says that um, that CUPW is the one that's not responding to negotiations. So it's a little bit of he said, she said. However, uh, here's more from the president himself. I personally believe they never had any desire or any want to negotiate at the bargaining table. They will not budge and not give fair jobs to any future workers. We're fighting not for only ourselves, but future workers for the young people of Canada. 55,000 postal workers continue to be on strike. It started on November the 15th. It's now November the 27th with no end in sight. Back to you. Yeah, and Arda, I mean, 10 million packages or more that are sitting undelivered at facilities like the one you're at in Toronto and across Canada. And of course, it's the busy holiday season coming, Black Friday as well. That's right, and, and the president says he really does feel with everybody who's relying on those packages, who uh, maybe has, have ordered presents for, for one another, for their children, waiting for those packages to come in the mail. And we don't know if, if, uh, if they're going to get them in time for Christmas or how they're going to sort through all the mail, all the packages that are sit sitting in those facilities. Certainly, once the strike is over, there's going to be a lot of work to, to catch up. But uh, for right now, now they said that they are focused on getting fair wages for um, for Canada Post employees. That is their main concern, even though they feel for for all Canadians. Yeah, Arda Zakarian joining us from Toronto with the very latest outside a Canada Post facility where you can see the postal workers are striking. Good to see you, Arda. As always, thanks for this.